I'd like to redo my lawn by all new grass, but when I do this, I'll have to fertilize it with something. What's the best fertilizer? I didn't know there were so many types of fertilizer. Tia Silvesi, Florida Friendly Landscaping Agent with University of Florida IFAS Extension is here to help me figure this out. Hey Tia. Hey, thanks for having me. Happy to talk to you about your lawn. Yeah, so I didn't realize there were so many different types of fertilizer there for are. so many different types of grass. Like, this is a lot. There are so many types out there, and you can go to the, you know, um, big box store and get completely confused with all the selections out there. Yeah, what do we need to be looking for? Like, first we have to know what kind of grass we have, I guess, right? Yeah, so the type of grass is important and you know, you just started with your new lawn. So an important thing about fertilizer is you don't wanna fertilize until after 30 days oh. planting the new lawn. And that's to let the roots get established so they can take up the fertilizer. Makes sense. Yeah, we don't want the fertilizer being lost into the environment. So we want the roots to be healthy before we fertilize. So wait at least 30 days. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And then when you do apply your fertilizer, does it matter if you're doing it by hand or do you do with one of those thingies? <laughs> yeah, um, the fertilizer can be applied in a lot of different ways, but the first step is making sure you buy the right kind. Okay. So when you get to the store and you're looking at the fertilizer bag for your lawn, you wanna find something that specifically says turf grass fertilizer. Okay. Yeah, and then um, the lawn has different needs than say annual bedding plants and flowers or vegetables. Oh. So make sure it says turf grass. And the thing special about turf grass is that you'll see three numbers on the fertilizer bag. On this bag, they're right here at the very bottom. Um, they're kind of hard to see, but that's the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium of the fertilizer. Okay. For turf grass, it likes nitrogen but zero phosphorus because we already have that in our soil. Oh. Yeah, the reason for the zero phosphorus is because that's a pollutant for the water bodies. Okay. So it's already in the soil. We don't need to add any more because it will pollute our lakes and our rivers and end up in the ocean and stuff. So on when you're looking at grass mm -hmm. bags, you want the zero in the middle. In that's the middle. like the most important right, thing. Right, the NPK. Okay. Yeah. And so that's what this turf grass fertilizer has. The other thing you want to look for on the bag is how many square feet does it cover? And this bag says it covers 5,000 square feet. Wow. So you're actually going to have to go out and measure your yard. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And if you want something for reference, you know, on the back of the bag here, it says, you know, uh, one tennis court is about 2,500 square feet. So think of it oh. in form of a tennis court, you know. If your yard equals two tennis courts, this would be the perfect bag for you. Wow, very cool. Yeah, and it's good to, you know, get the correct bag for your size of lawn so you can just apply it all at once and, you know, take care of it like that. How often do you want to fertilize your lawn? You said, you know, if it's new grass, don't do it for at least 30 days. Yeah, that's right. But then right. how often after that? So a good rule of thumb is to apply once in the spring and then once in the fall. But people need to know that we have a fertilizer blackout period during the summer. It's the Orange County Fertilizer Ordinance. And that's because of the phosphorus? Uh, nitrogen and phosphorus okay. are prohibited in the summertime. So we don't really want to fertilize uh, too much at all in the summertime from June 1st until September 30th. And that's because the heavy rains might carry the nutrients down into our water bodies. Awesome, so can you show us the proper way to apply some fertilizer? Yeah, so you know, if you have a big lawn, like a couple tennis courts, you probably wanna get one of these broadcast spreaders. Okay. And then you just dump the bag into the spreader and you walk around the yard kind of in a zigzag pattern to make sure you get it all. If you have a very small yard or you want to do it by hand, if you don't have the equipment, you can fertilize by hand. You know, I recommend wearing some garden gloves because you don't want to get the fertilizer on your hands. But go ahead and sprinkle it, you know, kind of like chicken feed, you know, onto the turf grass and you'll see it kind of settle in very to cool. the grass. Well, Tia, I have learned so much about fertilizer that I now feel more confident in taking care of my own lawn. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And if you have more questions on where to go, you can follow the website on the bottom of the screen.